name is Dr. Samuel Arthur Melkarski, and I am the Health Raiser. And for the last 19 years, I've helped people overcome health challenges and achieve better health so they can have a better life. And today I want to talk about the topic of physical therapy, uh, because that is what my doctoral degree is in. And I was going to start the presentation with a little video that the APTA just actually released, which is the American Physical Therapy Association. So for the next minute, uh, enjoy this commercial. Across the country, millions of Americans are being prescribed opioids for pain relief. Sure, opioids mask the pain, but there are risks. Opioid side effects range from nausea to withdrawal symptoms to overdose. Approximately 25% of people prescribed opioids for long-term pain relief struggle with addiction. And those addicted are 40 times more likely to move on to heroin. When it comes to managing your pain, you have a choice. Don't mask your pain with opioids. Choose to treat it with the help of a physical therapist. Physical therapists treat pain through movement and exercise. No warning labels required. And you get to actively participate in your care. Choose to improve your health without the risks of opioids. Choose physical therapy. Okay. So that was a good way to start the talk. Uh, give people a, kind of a snapshot of what PTs do. And today I want to talk about physical therapy in terms of what physical therapists actually do, uh, when you should go see one, and, and how to work with them. So first, what physical therapists do, simply put, is the ultimate goal of working with any physical therapist should be to improve your quality of life. That is definitely what uh, our forte is, is to help people either restore their function if it's lost or help to maintain it uh, if they have it and want to keep it or to prevent something from actually happening so they don't lose it in the first place. Now, one of the uh, biggest misconceptions with PTs is that you're supposed to go see them once you have a problem. And it's an okay time to see one, of course, because if you need help, you got to get your life back in order so that you can move on with your life. And there's no doubt when you were suffering, with pain or some other kind of health challenges, life's not too fun and it definitely disrupts everything in your life. I think people really start to value their health once they lose it and it's something we see all the time. So it's really important that I think people realize PTs do a lot more than just also prescribe exercise and even though the commercial had alluded to that, but there's so much more and our scope is absolutely huge. So I just want to talk real quick about the different fields, physical therapy, sometimes people just think like orthopedics. So we do deal with people that have joint pain, like arthritis or the overuse syndromes, like tennis elbow or runner's knee or golfer's elbow or you know the things that people hear about. Um, and But you also have fields of physical therapy where physical therapists deal with kids. So they specialize in pediatrics. Physical therapists deal with elderly people, which is getting huge because the baby boomers are starting they all obviously get older at once, so there's geriatrics. Then you have PTs that specialize in OBG and actually deal with women with pregnancy, pre and postpartum and during pregnancy, as well as pelvic floor dysfunction. Uh, women and men uh, both can become incontinent, and uh, PTs deal with that. Physical therapists deal with stroke, brain injury, spinal cord rehab. Uh, they deal with the special needs population, autism, uh, ADD, ADHD, Asperger's, on, everything on that spectrum. And there is uh, various different fields. Bariatrics is getting big because the population has become more obese. So I think it's important to realize that physical therapists do more than just, I think, what the, the small scope that people think they do. And part of the issue with that, and this is something I've been passionate in trying to help people change, is that when you go to a therapist, very often people end up working just like with something simple like one of these little stretchy bands, right? And it's called TheraBand or it's just an exercise band. And yes, that thing can play a role in the rehab process. There's no doubt about that. However, uh, physical therapy is a lot more than that. And it's important that I think people are educated when they walk into a physical therapist's office and they ask the right questions. So one of the things I think with working with a PT is definitely when you go in there, there's a couple of questions you want to ask. First, obviously, 
what kind of assessment are you going to do with me today so that you understand the assessment process they can figure out how to help you that there's a plan of care actually established once they've assessed you and then you actually ask them what are the contributing factors toward what you think i have going on because there are definitely biomechanical factors and those are the things people just always think about orthopedic issues like whether it's poor posture or their joint stiffness or they have muscle imbalances where they're tight on one side of their body and weak on the other side and those are very important but I think the thing that's missed by the public and even therapists is there's other factors outside of that and it's becoming more evident as people continue to actually decline a little bit in overall health that there are metabolic lifestyle factors and these things are really important because Seven out of 10 top causes of death are definitely preventable through diet and lifestyle changes. These are modifiable lifestyle factors. 50% of people in America right now are dealing with one chronic health condition, another 25% two chronic health conditions. And the saddest part is like 83% of the uh, healthcare dollars are being spent on these things. And I don't want to say wasted, but these are preventable conditions. Things like diabetes and stroke and cancer and heart disease, these are preventable issues and i know people say yeah well gen there's genetic factors you know with my family and there's no doubt that genetics can play a role in people's uh, health challenges however what people need to start to realize is genes are storehouses for information and how they're expressed is determined by diet and lifestyle and even your belief systems and this has been proven genetics over and over and over so i think things like hey genetics or well i'm getting older they can have an impact, there's no doubt, but very often I think people use them as a scapegoat to not want to try to uh, improve their health or they, they don't want to make the effort uh, because it's hard to change sometimes. And I think that's another thing that the uh, physical therapist, the question to ask them is, what kind of resources are you going to give me that I can get further educated on this condition and get well as fast as possible as well as prevent this from ever happening again? So. What I would throw out there is this, if you go into a therapist's office and it is just a uh, factory farm PT, I'm gonna call it, uh, be very blatant, and you see just tons of chaos in there and you're watching therapists just work with two, three people at the same time in the same hour and they're running back and forth, that's not quality care in my opinion. It's, it's care that I would never deliver in that way because I don't think that that kind of care is serving people best and, and especially you know, you, whether you're paying cash or using your insurance, somebody's paying for it. You know, they always hear this, well, it's free, my insurance pays for it. No, there's no free health care unless you're getting pro bono work by somebody. So we're all paying for each other's health. So whether you're using your insurance or you don't and you're paying cash, the bottom line is you deserve to get quality care. There is something called a patient's bill of rights and you have the right to ask as many questions as you want, whether it's a physical therapist or some other kind of healthcare practitioner, you can ask as many questions as you want. And if anyone ever makes you feel foolish for asking it, leave and go somewhere else because you deserve to be treated better than that. And uh, I'm very passionate about when I work with people, make sure that never happens. I always try to answer people's questions. And if I can't answer them, I will find out. I will find the answer. I will go research it, come back to somebody and say, hey, here's what I found out for you. And ultimately, I think another strength of PTs is knowing where their scope of practice ends and where their limitations might be with what they can do so that they are going to refer out to somebody else that might be able to help you if they can't. But definitely there's a big, there's a big campaign in Georgia right now, uh, move better, feel better, live better. And it's a, it's a brilliant campaign and it's simplicity because the bottom line is if you're moving better, you're definitely going to feel better. If you feel better, you're going to live better. And this is something that I know this group has heard me say before, but I do think people's health is their greatest asset and it's the other type of wealth they have, W-E-L-L-T-H, and you have to invest in it. There's no doubt that quality of life matters no matter how old you are um, or how young you are or where you think your situation is. The bottom line is if you want to be here on this earth plane enjoying your life, you, you got to feel well. So please just keep physical therapists in mind when you're looking at uh, trying to improve your health, not only for, again, these orthopedic conditions, but also just general wellness. This, uh, this is where PTs too are getting more gigs within the corporate uh, wellness side of things, like bringing a therapist into an organization and teaching workers how to have better posture or correct body mechanics can save them millions in the long run because back pain is a multi-million dollar expense right now that uh, in America. The people that suffer from back pain is debilitating and usually it's beyond that because then people go into downward spiral depression 
after they get back pain, and then it leads to all other kind of healthcare expenses. So therapists definitely are, are we're very, uh, physical therapists are very innovative, uh, very caring people. If you've not had a good experience with physical therapists, I'd say, you know, try again and don't, don't always judge that because there's always, there's always, you know, fair and good and, and very, very good and better within any field, any profession. But I do think PTs have a lot to offer people in terms of prevention, not only for injuries, but even chronic preventable diseases. So again, uh, I gave you a scope of what PTs do. The time to see them is not always when you have a problem, but even beforehand so that you can prevent these problems from happening. And also uh, shared with you today about what to do when you walk in there. Definitely ask a lot of questions. Ask them not only what you have going on and what they think is causing it, but how it is that they're gonna be able to help you with a customized plan of care, as well as what resources they can provide you so that you can take an active role in your care. This is very important. They're not gonna fix you. No healthcare provider can do that. They can't sleep better for you, eat better for you, you know, drink better for you, any of that. They can only coach you how to do that. So there's no doubt physical therapists have a specialized knowledge set. You utilize it for that and then take an active role in your own care and get yourself well and stay well because that's how you're gonna enjoy your life. So again, Dr. Samuel Arthur Malkarski, I'm licensed physical therapist and wellness consultant for the last 19 years. And my business is Health Razors Consulting. And the best way to find me is drsampt.com. That's D-R-S-A-M-P-T.com. Thanks, Gabe. And thanks for selling group for having me today. Okay, great, Sam. Um, just a quick question, an obvious question. Do you do take insurance? I, I currently do not, but what I do with people is I can provide them a bill that has the charges on it as well as the ICD-10 codes, which are the diagnostic codes and the CPT codes, which are the treatment codes, which is what you need as long as with my provider number. And if you submit that to your insurance company, there's a good chance you'll get reimbursed. Actually, probably faster than I, than I would because okay. <laughs> you're the policy holder. So I will work with people on that. I just ask people, please don't hand me paperwork and say, can you fill this out for me? No, because that means I'm filing. What I will do is give you the information that you need to fill out the forms from your insurance company. I've had people do it, and they have gotten reimbursed. And other people, too, that are using their health savings accounts, uh, HSAs for short, they, uh, they just need a bill and a, and a proof that they're there, and they can actually write that off as well, because that's what that money set aside for. Okay. Any other questions for Sam? So um, it's, it's, I, I know at one point, Sam, you talked about scars, and, and so if if and you talk about the back, is there any one area that you more that you more specialize in, or or don't specialize in that you that you stay away from? Sure. I mean, my general thing is overall, I take a wellness approach with everybody, and I really do treat a large scope of things. But if I had to generalize it more to the PT world, it'd probably be more in the orthopedics realm. Like I can work with people that have had strokes and brain injuries, but you know, for someone like that, if they they were really really uh, bad off or spinal cord injury, I'd, I'd probably send them somewhere local, like Shepherd Spinal Center down in Atlanta, because that's what their expertise is. But what I would tell people is, if you're not sure whether maybe what I could offer you could help you, just call because I will be totally honest with you. I had a lady recently, and I was very pleased and blessed and honored that she thought of me first, which is interesting because that's the campaign Choose PT First. Uh, but she actually had an eye condition and she said, I thought of you first because of your wealth and knowledge and what you do and how you approach everything holistically. And when she told me what was going on with her eyes, I said, yeah, absolutely. I can help you with that. And I did. She came here. I saw her. She felt markedly better. I checked in with her a few days later. She said, I feel incredible. And, um, but again, I'm not an optometrist or ophthalmologist. And again, if she had an eye issue that I didn't think I could handle, I would have referred her out. But, it, but basically what she had going on, um, I definitely could help her with. And, and I was, I was able to, and, and that's the thing is just, I always tell people, if you're not sure, like, hey, do PTs deal with this? Or I know you're a little different than a lot of PTs. Do you deal with this? I absolutely will give you an honest answer. I'll be like, yes, I can, and here's the degree to which I can treat that at. Or, yeah, hey, that's not my thing. Let me get you to a colleague of mine who does that specifically. But to answer your question specifically, Gabe, like if people in a general sense, like more of the orthopedic side of things, um, you know, car accidents, and the overuse syndromes, again, like the carpal tunnel, tennis elbow, things like that. Uh, and then the, the chronic neck pain, back pain, the acute conditions. But uh, at the same level side of stuff, like I said, the wellness piece, I don't want people to think like, well, he didn't mention the, these other conditions. I deal all the time with people with problems sleeping. 
people with digestive issues, people with breathing problems, all that stuff, because that's wellness issues. And, and those things are also just related to anatomy and physiology. That is a PT is something I have a really strong hold on. I understand anatomy and physiology and neurology, and I understand how to apply it. So when somebody comes to me and says, well, I have this condition, I, let's say it's a digestive problem. I'm going to look at their diet and lifestyle and say, well, okay, they're actually eating pretty clean and doing pretty well. So at that point, I already know it's probably a structural issue because these other things are not plaguing them. Whereas a lot of times people come in with both though. I said, you know, you need to clean up your diet and lifestyle and you do have these structural problems that are leading to your digestive issue and <clears throat> you address them both and they start getting better very quickly. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Sam. Great presentation. And, uh,